Welcome to this front kick tutorial. Different styles and different teachers perform this kick in different ways. In this video I'll show you how I do it. There are two main types of front kick. The front snap kick and the front stomp or push kick. This tutorial is for the front snap kick. I'll cover the stomp front kick in another video. The name of this kick in Korean is Apchagi, and in Japanese it's Maegeri. It's the first kick you learn in most martial arts, and sets the foundation for following kicks. So you should practice it thoroughly. Now let's begin. The first thing you must practice is raising your knee correctly. Make sure your stance is correct and you have good balance. Raise your knee up high in a chambered position without losing stability. As your knee elevates, your weight must be transferred to the opposite leg, and the knee must be raised enough in order to have sufficient range of motion for the kick. Your body should be firm and upright. Don't slouch or curve your back or tilt your shoulders. Try holding the knee up for a couple of seconds. As you raise your knee, the base foot and hip will naturally turn outwards to allow for comfortable range of motion. This detail is very important. If you do not turn your base foot and your hip, you will not be able to apply your hip into the kick. Practice with both legs until you can raise your knee up for a couple of seconds without losing balance. Once you're able to raise the knee while turning the base foot and keeping your balance, you can proceed to the actual kick. After raising your knee, extend your leg and kick with the ball of the foot. The hip should also follow through into the kick in order to have more power and penetration. After you kick, you must rechamber your knee before setting the foot back down on the floor. Don't just drop the foot down. Go down in a controlled manner. Remember, the contact area is the ball of the foot, the metatarsus, not the toes and not the instep. Pull your toes back to strike with the ball of the foot. Many people kick with the toes or instep, but it's incorrect and there's a risk of injuring yourself. Now that you understand the mechanics of the kick, practice kicking and landing in your original stance. Then practice landing in front after you kick. Then practice kicking with the front leg either landing in front or in the back. When kicking with the front leg, the weight transfers to the back leg. The rest is the same. Practice with both legs. You can use a mitt or a focus pad to develop accuracy. The pad should be held in a 45 degree angle as the kick has an upward trajectory. Practice with both legs and not only with the back leg, but also with the front leg. You can use a shield or a pad belt to practice more blunt power and force. This kick can be targeted at various parts of the body in a self-defense situation. You can kick the legs, the groin, the stomach,
or the face. Now let's take a look at some common mistakes people make. First, many people have a bad stance. Many people have a narrow stance with their feet too close to the center line. This causes loss of balance and no range of motion for the hip and legs. Make sure your feet are not too close to each other and you have correct balance and posture. Next, no snap or rechambering of the knee. As mentioned before, after kicking, you must snap the leg back and land with control. This means rechamber the knee after the kick. Do not just drop the foot on the floor. Retrieve it and land with balance and control. Many people have trouble controlling the trajectory of a leg or the movement of the hip, causing the leg to shoot in a diagonal inward direction. This can be caused also by poor posture. Make sure you keep your back straight and focus your leg into kicking in a direct line ahead of you. Slouching is also a common problem. Make sure your back is upright. Bring your chest out and keep your back and shoulders straight as you kick. Otherwise you will lose balance, the kick might go in a strain direction or you will bounce off of your target. If you do not raise the knee high enough, you will not have sufficient range of motion for the kick to be executed properly. Make sure you raise your knee slightly above the target's height and remember to keep your leg nice and bent as you raise it up. Kicking with the toes or instep is something I must again emphasize not to do. Make sure to kick with the ball of the foot. Now, some exercises to improve your front kick. If you have trouble with the balance and posture, try leaning on a wall or holding a chair while you practice kicking. First, try kicking normally in medium or normal speed. Then try repetitions without bringing the foot down. Try this at different speeds. Now try holding the leg extended for as long as you can. This will strengthen the muscles needed for the kick and also work on your balance and your technique. When you feel comfortable, try all those exercises, except without leaning on anything, only using your balance. If you find this to be too easy at some point, you can use ankle weights to increase the difficulty and to strengthen your muscles even further. To isolate the snapping or chambering motion, you can lie on the floor, your back flat and kick upwards in a straight line. This will force you to perform the correct extension of the leg. Then switch to a side position, so you can also work on the hip position and rotation. Try kicking while advancing, alternating between legs always with control and focus on technique. Depending on what style you practice, you will be required to perform this kick and other kicks from different stances, so make sure you practice performing the kick with both back and front foot and from different stances.
practicing this from a parallel stance is very helpful to develop proper coordination and practice of balance, shifting your weight between feet as you kick. To practice striking with the ball of the foot, you can try gently kicking a wall or the floor. This way you will get used to putting your toes back and to get contact on that part of your foot. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want to know more about the music used in this video, please check the information. Feel free to leave your comments or questions, and thank you for watching. Os.